Well, I knew Anirudh uh, from 1998, I think uh, Tarun Tejpal brought him into Outlook. And he was uh, an extraordinary journalist. Uh, from the very beginning, he was interested in small microphones, hidden cameras, uh, these things to do things with. So every time he used to go abroad in those days, he would bring some gadget back, uh, which would help him do these things. So he, I realized that he was not interested in the conventional sort of uh, expose or scoop as we call it. But he would uh, get these very well planned and very well choreographed exposés in which the victim did not know what that he was speaking. But it was not an invasion of privacy as some people say because these always had their social and national significance. He would sit, for example, this bat here is Rashid, he gave it to me. This is Rashid Latif's bat. And he sat in a car with Rashid Latif. And Rati, Rashid Latif told him in the match fixing matter that Sachin Tendulkar knows everything. And he carried that story and became a very big story because it was the first time that Sachin was allegedly involved. And it caused such a sensation that Sachin had to make a public clarification saying that I am not involved. So there were many stories he did which were all very legitimate but which were not the kind of stories my other reporters did. He, I mean, he was on his own track as it were. And I soon realized that uh, I wouldn't interfere with him, wouldn't even ask him what he was doing. I knew he was up to something. And at some point, he would emerge with a story. Uh, this, all his stories were continually, uh, I think, based on the sting. But I don't know whether I should tell you this. But I am responsible for Anirudh's marriage because one day I got a telephone call and that telephone call was from his father-in-law who was very apprehensive and very doubtful whether he should give his daughter to Anirudh. So, especially to a journalist, not nothing wrong. So he had a long chat with me. And the sum of substance of that chat was, that does he get a salary every month? So I reassured him that he not only gets a salary, but he has a bright future. So, uh, now as far as Cobra Post is concerned, it has really done wonderful work. And it's not so, it's not appreciated enough, I think. Some of the exposures it has done are truly shattering exposes. For example, the Snoopgate expose. If the Congress had not been so incompetent and had pursued that expose, I doubt whether Mr. Modi would have been Prime Minister of this country today. Uh, I think that Babri Masjid, the land expose, uh, the 1984 expose. These were really very big stories. But in all cases, I think the people who should have used them as a lead did not do their job properly. Uh, I think what Anirudh did was that he gave information, compelling information, and put it in the public domain. And after that, it was the job of these people. But they were either not interested or they made a mess of things. 
So I think his stories have not, except the match fixing story saw some in which he did in for Outlook in uh, 99, I think, or 2000. That had some that had impact and some results like Azruddin, Jadeja, and all this. But his other stories, while they were much more significant even than the match fixing story, didn't have the result they deserved. So, but it's 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 quite an incredible thing that he has done. And then when I read in the papers that he is being given extra security, and now with this BJP regime in power, because there is a feeling, rightly or wrongly, I think wrongly, that he's an agent of the Congress party. And all his exposures have targeted the BJP. Well, that's not true. But with the BJP in power now, I think things will get quite hot for Anirudh. But uh, he had, you know, one of the things with these things, etc., is that journalists are especially reporters who do exposés are very impatient people. They want to see quick results. Now, when you're doing a sting, the organization of that sting and the results from that string might take six months. So, Anirudh also has the patience to play the field, to say that doesn't matter, I don't get every story once a month or something, it might take years. So, and also to tell your reporter that you're in for the long haul, that this is going to take a long time. Uh, I don't know how long the, some of the stings have taken, but I suspect they've been qu quite long. So that's another virtue of his. Uh, and I think he has given sting journalism, which had a bad name, in as much as people were using it to blackmail people, etc. He has given it a good name. He has given it a good professional journalistic name.